what clinical signs you have observed so today i have seen a video of a three-year-old child probably in uh, outpatient clinical settings uh, as per the stem the child weight is 10.9 kilo which is uh, which is under uh, like underweight for him so i would like to plot his height and weight on the growth appropriate chart, uh, chart. during observing the video i noticed the child looks uh, unwell he looks a little uh, bit in distress and he has uh, he is not attached to any kind of device there and he does not have any obvious features but you could see periorbital edema underneath his face and mm -hmm. underneath his eye and uh, i could also see hepatomegaly and splenomegaly while uh, the abdomen was shown okay mm -hmm. So, what history would you like to take? So, I, uh, as the stem has already tells me that the fever has been there for 15 days, so I will take a detailed history of the fever, like how much is the fever, and it has any treatment been given so far, and if the child is responding at all or not. And due to the facial, due to the swelling of the face, I will take uh, history uh, regarding that as well. Uh, I would take history if the child is having any cough, cold, any respiratory, any kind of problem like uh, respiratory distress. Uh, if they have any problem with pee and poo, if the child is complaining of pain anywhere in the body, if there is any kind of uh, bluish coloration anywhere into the body, uh, if the child is having uh, bleeding from the mouth or uh, bleeding from the gum, basically, or um, if the child is having uh, any swelling anywhere in the body particularly. Okay. So what additional history would you like to, uh, what additional examination you would like to do? Uh, so in this case, I would like to do a head to toe examination. Basically, I would uh, check for, uh, ideally, I would uh, do a general physical examination i would check for the pallor i would check if the child has any kind of uh, uh any kind of any jaundice i would check for the lymph nodes as well and um i would check for the pulse blood pressure temperature of the child uh, and the child's saturation then i would auscultate uh, the lung fields to see if the child is having any respiratory issues like in preps or if i can see there anything in these cases this because the child has special swelling which makes me think uh worry about super uh super so of yeah so as this child is having facial swelling which makes me worry about superior vena cable obstruction so i would check for the tracheal position and uh, i would check for the if the appendage has shifted if there is any crest or anything at all like if the child has any features of heart failure and um yeah that's it i guess okay so uh, what is your diagnosis and what are your differentials uh so because the child presented with fever and also swelling in the face uh, and the child looks really unwell so first of all i would put um, leukemia in my uh, top differentials and i would also put malnutrition in the differentials as well and um, i would exclude nephrotic syndrome but it looks like i have being said that the child is having fever for a long duration. Okay. Anything else? <coughs> uh, no, I said leukemia, malnutrition, and uh, the nephrotic syndrome. Okay. Okay. Considering this child is having uh, malignancy, how you will? manage this child so first we need to uh, uh, we need to find out the malignant uh, like uh, we need to do a full blood count i would be doing urea electrolytes liver function test i would also be doing uh, the 
uh, uric acid, phosphate, calcium, basically to see if this child is having hyperuricemia, uh, hyperphosphatemia, or anything like that. Uh, I would also do a peripheral blood cling to find out if it is ALL, what kind of cell is causing that, to base the diagnosis on it. Uh, depending on the results of the preliminary test, we need to proceed bone marrow examination, or we may need to do the CSF examination as well. Anything else? You, any other investigation you would like to do? So uh, to exclude if it is not nephrotic, I would like to do a, a bedside urine albumin to check if there is any albumin present or not. I can also do a routine. Um, I can also do a urine protein creatinine ratio as well. And, so I told uh, you that considering this as malignancy. So okay. what specific management would you like to do? So uh, full blood count, urea, electrolyte, liver function test, uh, LDH, uh, then bone profile, which include calcium, magnesium, phosphate, to see if there is a, a basically breakdown of the cells, peripheral blood film, and uh, culture as well. Then do a, a bone marrow uh, biopsy and uh, CSF. The time is over. OK. Uh, from the video, this child looked pale doesn't seem well and there is hepatosplenomegaly yeah okay so putting all these finding findings together the first diagnosis that comes to our mind is that malignancy so that we will be telling and then you told me that my second differential is malnutrition there won't be hepatosplenomegaly in malnutrition so don't mention that no there won't be okay okay yeah but um Okay, so what can I put as differentials for leukemia? So in history, you should have asked that I know that this child is having fever for last 15 days. And but I would also like to know the cause of fever. And yeah. uh, and then uh, you will be asking about the swelling that I have mentioned yeah. that there is swelling of the face. But I would also yeah. like to know whether there is swelling anywhere else in the body. Or is it yeah, I told this. Uh, after that, you will be asking that what is done so far, whether child is given any treatment mm -hmm. or are any investigations done so far that also I want to know. OK, I did not say about investigation. I said if, the, if any treatment has been given to the child so okay. far. And I would also like to know whether child is following with any team or not. OK, uh, I didn't say that part. OK, then. <laughs> And in examination, you should first say that after taking vitals and anthropometric measures, yeah. I would like to do full journal physical examination of this child. Hmm. Okay. I said that. And in journal physical examination, what we look for? We look for pallor, cyanosis, clubbing, lymphadenopathy, yeah. edema. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I said this one. Specifically check for cervical group of lymph nodes. And uh, I would like to do abdominal examination, so I can see that there is hepatosplenomegaly. But I would like to confirm my findings, what I have seen in the video. I would like to palpate mm -hmm. for cervical group of lymph nodes. This you have to say. I would be doing complete skin skin examination, specifically looking for any particular purpura bruises. Okay, One. I did not mention his skin. Uh, do I have to mention cervical because I just said lymphadenopathy? Okay, okay. It, that also will do. Yeah. So in differential, so your first differential should be malignancy. Then should you should be telling that if there are any uh, spots visible on the skin, though I cannot see that, then I, I may be thinking of uh, ITP also. Okay, but I think it's not also associated with um, hepatosplenomegaly. So that you will be telling that uh, ITP okay. is not associated with hepatosplenomegaly. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I ask you about investigation. I told you that considering this as a child of malignancy, see if your diagnosis is not what is there in the video, then examiner will be telling you that see this is the diagnosis. So now you proceed. So what investigations mm -hmm. you will you will be telling full blood count you told peripheral blood mm. cell you have to say what we want to look for we yeah, want to I look say. for blast cell and as we will yeah. be admitting this child and our diagnosis is malignancy so we will be doing urea electrolytes uric acid okay and liver function yeah. test we will be doing 
and you forgot to mention about chest x-ray yeah i did not mention chest extra i so told all the blood tests bone marrow biopsy csf not the extra so we should be looking for either the phrenopathy also and uh, any other investigations and then yes bone marrow aspiration and trifying that that also we will be telling coming to treatment you uh, didn't come to treatment hmm. read about that what we will be doing so first we will be starting with the remission induction then there is mm -hmm. the for phase and then there is maintenance phase so just yeah. go through uh, that that what all we will be doing plus you should know what are the poor prognostic factors so if white blood counts high okay then that is a poor prognostic factor if there is bulky mm -hmm. organomegaly then that is a poor prognostic factor yeah. male sex CNS involvement. Male sex, age less than one year or more than 12 year, uh, 10 years is one. Then if there okay. is blood and fat chromosome present, if there is yes. uh, like a syndrome, Down syndrome or anything. And T-cell ARL. So these all things you should <laughs> keep in mind during the treatment. Yeah. 